I'm a little bit unusual in the sense that I do both theory and observations and also supercomputer simulations. And my main research areas are trying to understand the lives and deaths of stars. One of the things that we have discovered here in my group recently is that we can use the chemical composition of stars to learn what kind of planets would be residing around other stars. And this is very fascinating because it's very, very difficult to, to identify these small planets around other stars. So most of the planets astronomers have found so far are giant planets. But this is a completely new way of trying to identify stars that are likely to harbour small planets, so more Earth-like planets. The next decade or two decades, it's quite likely that astronomers will be able to identify signatures of life, what we call biosignatures, uh, in the atmospheres of other, other planets. So whether they contain methane or things that probably can only be produced by some kind of life on those planets. I love uh, problem solving, to, to tackle really difficult, challenging problems. It's kind of the, the big, big questions. Are we alone in the universe? Where do we come from? Where did it all start in the universe? It's, it's a, very, a very satisfying problem that we have.